I love it actually. You know, you remember that time at Renwick where you told me this company will never have more than eight people. Everything is covered by technology, mm -hmm. you know. And now we have all these beautiful people in our beautiful team. Plus technology. Plus technology. No, high five. <laughs> never reject the high five. I'm Willem the Jelly. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Gen2. We're celebrating our five-year anniversary and I'm here to discuss a couple of questions with my partner and co-founder, Patrick, which has spent all the five years together and built this company. Join me in this interview and have great fun. High five. Okay, good. What's the main motivation driver behind the foundation of Gen2, the why? Well, I guess you both know. I would say that everybody can invest in the assets they like, love and understand, that people can invest into their passion. For me, it has always been about building new things, giving people access to investment opportunities where their passion lies. And also what they love and what they think about all day. <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't agree more. Okay, next. Next? next. Why not? What does Gen2 do for its clients? Well, there are over 78 trillion in non-bankable assets. And I mean, the idea is pretty simple. We bring them into bankable portfolios, we do securitization, we make all the assets bankable, we then manage the assets, we give them the opportunity to white label their products, we help any portfolio manager, any asset manager, any bank with their diversity in portfolios and investments. Yeah, and as you usually say, we build bridges. Yeah, we build bridges into all asset classes. In other words, help our clients to expand the investment universe. It's a total expansion of the investment universe. I would say there is even no limit. I mean, the economical growth that lies within that is just incredible. We see that through securitization and through tokenization. Now choke a card. What's the holy grail in an expanded investment universe? Whoa. <laughs> I would say it's about uncorrelated returns and about reducing the risk by having more decorrelated assets you can invest in, such that you can have a better asset allocation in your portfolio. Hmm. Yeah, I would say you're right. Thank you. High five. What kind of innovation does Gen2 bring to the financial markets? So our innovation is really that we enable clients to bring projects into the form of a security or a token, by the way, that weren't able to be securitized before. We allow smaller sizes, quicker implementation time, faster speed to market, and spark innovation with that. Absolutely. I think it's finally pretty simple, right? We want to make all assets bankable and investable. We want to get them into transactions so everybody can access it. And I guess we want to let everybody create financial products. For us, it always has been about the democratization of the structured products or the securitization. I do believe that by allowing more people to access the alternative markets, we can create more liquidity and less risk in the market. Okay, I would say so. Gen2 is managed by its founders. How do you split the management areas? Yeah, well, I'm the pink, you the brain. <laughs> <laughs> I do the front, you do the hard work. I guess you have the vision. You are the good problem solver in our team. You're like the best salesperson I know and That's also on the marketing side. You know where we're going. You have a, an unfair competitive advantage by being so knowledgeable about the business and <laughs> you're always there. You always have an opinion. You always have a strong opinion. We do fight our fights. I think that makes us stronger. It actually makes me uh, better because I have to prepare. We are different from each other, but opposites attract. I couldn't have found a better person to partner up with me. Thank you so much. Now high five. Fantastic job, baby. What is a personal highlight in the Gen2 history? Meeting you. It's getting corny now. <laughs> <laughs> Highlights definitely are the people, by far. All the people we met, in good and bad. All the fun we had with clients, in-house. I would say the whole Gen2 thing. I do agree. In addition to what you said, you know how often we moved offices? <laughs> and structures, and people, and all together. And it's just such a great story to see that little Gen2 baby grow yeah. and getting 
an adult. Yeah, becoming an adult slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Sometimes a bit clumsy. Happens. Happens to the best. Fast forward to 2028. 10 years of Gen 2. Where does the company stand? Yeah, like universe. Okay, you cannot say that. <laughs> I guess we're going to be at a completely different point in the investment universe. I guess we will see a total expansion of that investment universe in any which way. From securities to tokens, people will be able to invest in what they care for, what they love. We're not judging investments by performance or only performance. I think we're going to judge them by what we care for and what we stand for, our full endeavors. I truly believe that we have still a lot to do. Oh yeah. We can do a lot and we have many more fields to explore and to help clients with. So I'm really looking forward. To All those good plans to create more heroes. Mm -hmm. Heroes in the financial world. I love it. I love it actually. You know, you remember that time at Renway where you told me this company will never have more than eight people. Yeah, everything is covered by technology, mm -hmm. you know. And now we have all these beautiful people in our beautiful team. Plus technology. Plus technology. Tough work, long journey. If we only knew what's up in front of us back then. I mean, as I learned, if you can keep disaster three months away from you, you're doing not too I'm bad. Quite good in that. Then. Yeah, I think so as well. What role does Asset Rush play in the Gen 2 ecosystem? I guess it's, it's the lighthouse. It should be a lighthouse for everybody in the sector. Just come together, innovate together find new ways of what the financial market should look like and, 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 and get to work. Yeah? And I guess for Chen2, it, um, it, it makes us stronger to exchange and it gives us direction in every sense. Yeah, it's about community, exchange, create new ideas, create add value for everybody involved. Yeah, togetherness. Togetherness. What does Chen2 stand for? Next step. Next level. Say that one more time. Gen2 stands for the generation two of financial products. Second yeah. generation. Ah, true. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever want to give up? I think I never doubted the way, did not doubt the purpose we have. Um, I had me weak moments. Giving up is not my nature. So for that, the question of giving up was never occurring to me. Yes, there were were and still are hard times. Actually, it helped during that whole time that we are not complete and we have to move and we have to stay on it. It kept me going full in, all in. Now high five. How did the client structure change over time? That's a good one. Well, I guess... Um, maybe I can. Yeah, maybe you. <laughs> <laughs> so. At the beginning, we were actually quite lucky. We already had clients lined up waiting for us to go live. Mm -hmm. That helped us a lot to get going with our company. With time, there were more innovators and also others. And we continued actually that path that by word of mouth, more and more people knew about us. And it just grew by it. Now, over time, with additional marketing, we also have other people realizing what we can do for them. Great partners, clients that come in and, and really want to change the way they do business, actually. And we still learn more about new use cases. And that lets us change the way we interact with them and how we innovate. Couldn't agree more. High five.